written in our genes directs us from behind the scenes the words within it shape life's destiny hidden in your dna is your genetic dossier it tells your future and your history how traits can pass from parents to a child is something that has kept us so beguiled cracking the code Genetic mysteries to unfold Cracking the code Genetic secrets will be told Cracking the code Genetic mysteries to unfold Cracking the code Genetic secrets will be told Cracking the code By the second decade of the 20th century, it was clear that within the chromosomes are stored the units of heredity, the genes. But what still wasn't clear was the physical substance of the gene. What was it made of? The first clue appeared in 1869 within an ancient castle in Germany. Inside a foul-smelling room was the lab of Johann Friedrich Meischer, an early biochemist. He was interested in the chemical makeup of white blood cells, particularly their large nuclei, and he extracted these cells from soiled bandages obtained from a nearby hospital, hence the stench. Meischer used dilute hydrochloric acid to separate out the nuclei from the rest of the pus cells. Then he extracted digestive juices from the stomach of a pig to dissolve away any remaining bits of protein. He then used various other chemicals to separate out the contents of the nuclei. What he ended up with was a strange, gummy sort of substance. Meischer tested it chemically and found it to be rich in both nitrogen and phosphorus. He called this new material nuclein. In fact, it was DNA. <laughs> It was shown that nuclein is an acid, now termed a nucleic acid, which consists of a chain of smaller parts called nucleotides. A nucleotide itself consists of three smaller molecules joined together side by side, with a sugar in the middle, and a phosphorus-containing acid or phosphate on one side, and a nitrogen-containing base on the other. By the 1920s, it was recognized that there are two different nucleic acid chains. The difference lies in their central sugar molecules. One chain was named RNA, short for ribonucleic acid. The ribo refers to its particular sugar, ribose. The other was named DNA, short for deoxyribonucleic acid. Its sugar has one less oxygen atom than ribose, hence the prefix deoxy. It was also noticed that DNA is found mainly within the nucleus and RNA mainly outside of it in the cytoplasm of the cell. It was also found that the nitrogen-containing bases in both DNA and RNA come in several different forms represented by the initials of their chemical names. Adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine, and uracil. Three of these bases are common to both DNA and RNA. Thymine is unique to DNA and uracil to RNA. At first, little notice was taken of these small differences among the nucleotides that form DNA, but these variations within their base components were ultimately revealed as the alphabet of the gene. But in addition to DNA, chromosomes also contain protein, and for the first half of the century, protein stole the show. A protein consists of an irregular sequence of smaller amino acids. There are 20 different amino acids, which can be arranged into any possible combination. As the protein grows longer, the possibilities multiply astronomically. DNA, on the other hand, has an alphabet of only four letters, which were thought to be arranged in a monotonous sequence. 
it's no wonder that proteins seemed a better candidate to carry the language of heredity. It took a couple of scientific surprises 